Is the law of attraction real? Is your mother real? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Instagram Live? Tyler Harris here. TJ here. Oh, that's creepy. <laughs> yeah, that's why I did this. Try as hard as I can to be as transparent uh, with everything. So, like, I just want you to see this setup. So, literally, we're in my hotel room. We went and got this black just trifold like you did your you know third grade science project <laughs> on and we've got you know this just jank old light set up here we've got the camera set up there we've got like tj's bag of tortilla chips that he just ate we've got this lamp that's sitting in a desk drawer the in, amazing the, in, in the hotel <laughs> doing q a um, we probably answered 50 questions. Probably answered 50 questions. And the reason we were doing that, there's a new app that just came out, just launched um, this past week called Doppel. Uh, it was, I was a part of the beta version of the app. And I think it's actually got some legs to it. I think it's, it's going to be a big, 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 big app. And here's why. Uh, again, as I said, I'm big on transparency. And the Doppel app is all about Q&A. And so users, anyone can go on and download the Doppel app and they can ask questions. Influencers can pay, I think it's like $7.99. I think that's per month. I don't even know if it's per month. But $7.99, let's just say per month, to be able to answer questions. So you go on to Doppel and there's tons of questions on there. You answer them. There's voice recognition. So where it'll populate when you ask your question. Um, or when you're searching questions, all the different people that have answered those questions. And for me, that's the ultimate form of transparency because it's pretty easy after about three or four questions to know if somebody has any idea what they're talking about or if they're absolutely full of it. So it's at entrepreneur on Doppel and we're gonna be uploading tons of Q and A on there. And so this will be where you can go and ask any question that you possibly ever had about anything. I mean, TJ's on there, there's like 150 questions he answered about hand saying. Um, so like anything, <laughs> anything that you've ever wanted to, <laughs> anything that you've ever wanted to know about handstands, um, he yeah, answered. Well, really With that, we're gonna get right in to the Q&A for Doppel. I have 600 plus ideas. How do I start with the execution part? You start. It can seem extremely overwhelming if you've got 600 ideas. Start with one of them. I don't care which one. Obviously, it would make sense to go with the best one, but it really doesn't even matter. What matters is that you start. You take it from an idea to an execution, and that takes work, that takes effort, and that takes you having the mindset to stop thinking, stop procrastinating, stop dwelling, and start doing. So just start. So how far out should I plan my next business goal? Weeks, months, years? The answer is yes. Uh, you need to plan out all of those. So you need to have your uh, five-year goal. You need to have your annual goal. You need to have your quarterly goal. And you need to have weekly and daily goals. That's the only way that you are going to win, period, is if you set yourself up to be able to win each day, win each week, win each month, win each quarter, and ultimately win each year and ultimately hit your end goal. Uh, so why going off commission is better than being on salary? Um, this is a sensitive subject with me. I just think that uh, commission only is the only way to be and that's because why should a employer pay you for doing nothing? Why should an employer pay you for bringing no value to them? If you truly believe that you're doing a good job, if you truly believe that you have something of value, then you should only want to be paid for what you earn, which means you would be commission only. The problem is our society has created an environment where employees can be focused on salary from an employer and not the commission, it's just salary plus, salary plus, and they don't even worry about the commission, they're just worried about how much money can I get before I make a single sale. That's a problem, commission only solves that. Is the law of attraction real? Is your mother real? <laughs> 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 the answer is yes and I've seen it play out in a million different ways in my life over the last three and a half years but basically it boils down to this if you put good stuff out good stuff will come back and in my 
personal uh, experience, it comes back tenfold, twentyfold. It's not the like woo-woo, like mysterical, like all of a sudden there's gonna be fog that comes up behind me and I have a glass ball that I'm looking through. It's just having the right intent, being a good person and knowing that good things will happen because of it. Why should I use Instagram now? Probably because it's the most popular social media platform on planet Earth right now. But the reality is you should use all social media platforms regardless of if they're most popular or not because you never know when one's gonna pop, when one's gonna drop. Didn't mean for that to rhyme, but I won't stop. <laughs> uh, but Instagram stories in particular are super, super powerful right now. Like no one's scrolling through Instagram, they're scrolling through stories and that's why I've gone hard on Instagram stories. What podcast do I listen to? So I, pretty much anything that, that uh, Gary Vaynerchuk does, I love Daily V, I love Ask Gary V, I love the new pod sessions that he does. But the MF CEO project with Andy Frisella is one of my absolute favorite podcasts. Beyond that, the Breadwinner podcast is a huge favorite of mine. Just kidding, it's my podcast, but it is pretty good. And uh, we've had a lot of incredible guests on, so I would highly recommend that. Um, do I have to be on every social network? Only if you want to be seen by every one. <laughs> because there's some people that are gonna be hardcore Snapchat, hardcore Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and some now that are gonna be hardcore on this platform, which is Doppel. And I don't think that you have the right to choose where somebody should be able to consume your content. Uh, I think a lot of this, people are like, I don't have time to be on all the, all the uh, different platforms. Okay, well then maybe you don't have time to be a multimillionaire. Maybe you don't have time to be successful. Maybe you don't have time to make an impact. Uh, I think people are a little bit overzealous with this, I don't have time to, like your time is so incredibly uh, valuable that you can't post the exact same video that you just posted on Instagram, also on Facebook, and also on Snapchat, and also on all these other platforms. Uh, so to me, you need to be everywhere in all things, um, just to give other people the ability to find you that may not have found you if you were only on a couple. Do your social media handles have to be consistent? I think they do. Um, just so that you can have that brand recognition so it's easier for people to find you. I think the least amount of friction is going to create the most amount of effectiveness. And friction is just any possible way someone can forget, any possible way someone can not find you, any possible way someone can misspell something, any possible way someone can typing it in, not put it in right. So for me, I'm at Tyler Harris Page on absolutely every one of my platforms, except for on Doppel, I was able to get at, at Entrepreneur, which just made sense for obvious reasons. Had all the good entrepreneur, business, success, motivation been taken, I would have been at Tyler Harris Page. But to me, to have that congruent username through all the different platforms is gonna be helpful. How often should you post? There's gonna be a lot of different answers to this. If you lined up a hundred different influencers, they'll tell you a hundred different answers and they'll be just, they'll be certain that they're right. Um, to me, I think the more the better especially as you're beginning and growing your platform because the reality is there's only a small percentage of people that are actually seeing the posts that you're posting. Um, so to me, it's quantity and quality, uh, but it needs to be at least three times a day, at least three times a day as you're growing. Now, at, once you've built a huge audience and huge is relative, huge for you may be different than huge for me, uh, but once you've built a significant audience, then you can back down, but not uh, until then. It has to be more, 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 more as you're growing so that you give people the opportunity to even see the stuff that you're putting out. I'm in a boring industry. Do I still need social media? I sell life insurance. Ha <laughs> <laughs>